Welcome to the security video in our FlexDeploy learning series. FlexDeploy takes a comprehensive approach to DevSecOps that goes from how you segregate responsibilities by role to how you securely manage change across an integrated development and delivery lifecycle. Additional examples of FlexDeploy's DevSecOps features include integration with any LDAP, such as Microsoft AD, and mapping of enterprise groups to FlexDeploy groups, integration with single sign-on and multi-factor authentication, Integration with secrets and credentials management tools, such as HashiCorp Vault and CyberArk. Integration with security vulnerability tools, such as Acunetics. Native SSH endpoint connectivity with Windows. This video focuses on how FlexDeploy defines security based on roles and responsibilities that match your organization's needs. There are two levels at which security can be set, by group on a global scale, or by projects, applications, and folders. Role-based security for release pipelines is a topic we will save for another time. We will start with groups, which should be based on the different teams within your company, such as administrators, managers, developers, and operators. Organizing the groups so that the users within them only get the proper permissions is key in making sure that everything operates smoothly. For example, it typically would not be desirable to allow a developer to approve deployment or build requests to production. So let's take a closer look at the developers group and see the permissions given to users in it. There are different permission types that can be applied globally. You can give a group access to the project explorer, but not open and view anything until the project level security is set. Then, most other pages allow you to permit a group to read but not change anything on the page. Lastly, you can authorize groups to create, update, or delete objects on pages where applicable. Windows approvals and notifications are the only parts of the global security that do not apply to an entire page. Instead, they pertain to their respective features on any application or folder that a user has been given access to via the project level security. On the right is an ease of use button, which allows you to select read only for a group, which is applied to all relevant pages. There is also the Flex Deploy Administrator checkbox, which will allow that group to access any page and any feature within Flex Deploy. This checkbox should be used with caution, as a user could alter system settings, passwords, usernames, and more. Now let's go to the Users page to see how we can give someone those group permissions. You can see the list of available and selected groups. By shuttling a group to the selected side, a user inherits the permissions for that group. Permissions are set up such that if a user is assigned to multiple groups, they will receive all of the permissions for both groups. So if you assign a read-only group and an administrator group, that user will have administrative permissions. Notice you can also set user-based notifications for things such as approvals or request activity. Next, we'll take a look at the permissions on the HR application. So let's go ahead and switch to the project page and select the security tab of the application. If we click the override security button, we can see the permissions this application inherited from a parent folder. Project level permissions are granted to all child folders, applications, and projects from where they are set. If security is set on the root Flex Deploy folder, then it applies to everything. That is, unless there is another override that occurs on one of the child objects. There are different levels to which a group can have their security set, such as the ability to read but not change anything within the hierarchy, to view the execution logs, to create or configure folders, applications, and projects, to execute builds, deployments, and tests, and so on. Flex Deploy's role-based security is an effective and valuable feature which grants people permission to only the components useful for their role. Check out our complete set of videos in this Flex Deploy learning series at flexagon.com.